uh, good day to everyone. So for this video lecture on 161, it is the it is the part two on the milking management of the dairy animals. So uh, last uh, meeting, last video lecture, I've talked about the milking management, the preparation, the uh, preparatory uh, part, wherein. Uh, what are the things that you need to prepare? What are the things that you need to do before you start milking the animal? So, for this, the, uh, I will talk about the methods, the two different methods in milking a dairy animal. So, first, uh, when we say milking method, uh, proper milking technique greatly influences milk yield under health and milking time. So, these factors are important for economic milk production. Therefore, all milkers must adopt correct milking practices. Yung sinasabi lang dito is that dapat uh, wasto or tama yung, pra, yung milking technique na ginagawa mo. Kasi kung tama yung milking technique na ginagawa mo, then this will increase yung yield mo, yung production mo ng milk. Kasi kung hindi tama yung milking technique na ginagawa mo, uh, the result or... Most probably, hindi lalabas lahat yung milk. Hindi lalabas lahat nung naproproduce ng milk nung dairy animal. Kaya mas mababa yung production mo or yung yield mo. So, kailangan na uh, you need, if you are one, if you are involved in milk production, in dairy farming, uh, you need to adapt yung correct milking practices. Then, the good milking procedures include milking at regular interval. So, kailangan na masanay. Kasi pag regular interval, yung pag-milk mo, uh, mas, nagiging masa, uh, mas nagiging comfortable yung dairy animal since uh, nagiging uh, sanay na siya. Sanay na siya doon sa process ng milking. Kung regular yung, pro, uh, yung milking, milking mo. Then, uh, it should also be fast, gentle, and complete milking and sanitation. So, kailangan rin na at regular intervals pero hindi naman pala gentle yung pagmimilk mo. Then, uh, wala rin uh, ma-associate ng dairy animal na, ano, na discomfort na yung pagmimilk kung uh, masyadong malakas yung milking process mo, yung pagmimilk mo sa animal. And then, there should also be sanitation kasi this will protect uh, the humans, the people that are consuming your milk, as well as this will pr protect your dairy animals from infection. So, kailangan na sanitize lahat yan kasi yung milk na iproproduce mo, yan, uh, yan is for human consumption talaga. So, kailangan na walang contamination. So, yun. Yun yung mga good milking procedures. Um, one, uh, the first type of milking method is yung hand milking na tinatawag. So, itong hand milking, uh, it is only applicable when the herd size is small. So, about 10 cows or less, hand milking is practical. So, the cost of labor and equipment is small, but hygienic standard uh, should still be met. So, yun, you can apply hand milking if uh, mababa lang yung population or yung heads mo. Number of, he, na, number of dairy animals dun sa inyo. So, kung 10 cows or less lang yung animals mo, then you resort to hand milking. Kasi pag yung isang type ng milking method, which is yung equipment, yung mag uh, gagamit ka ng isang equipment to for milking, hindi na yun viable kasi nga, baka mas uh, marami pa yung nagagastos mo in maintaining that equipment kaysa dun sa naproproduce ng 10 cows or less mo na milk. So, when your herd size is, is small, dapat hand milking talaga yung the most practical way. So, yun. Pero, in hand milking, just like any other, just like the other type of procedure in milking method, dapat um, hygienic pa rin. Yun yung number one priority kasi Hinahawakan mo eh, yung teats. So, kailangan na na clean and sanitize yung mga equipment. Clean your uh, clean yung hands mo para walang contamination na magaganap. So, yun yung ano. Then, 
for hand milking, uh, may mga preparation pa rin na magaganap before you milk. So, I've discussed this in other topics. So, I remember I've discussed yung parang milking management na part doon sa lactation management na part nung um, dairy animals. So, I've, I've remember pero um, let's um, discuss again. So, Yung sa preparation before milking, uh, first is wash and sanitize the milk pails. It is possible your seamless, stainless steel or well-trimmed pails na tinatawag. So, kailangan na yung paglalagyan mo, yung milk pails kasi na tinatawag, ito yung um, timba. Si timba nga pangipanam GG milk. So, yun yung mga milk, milk pails na tinatawag. So, it, if possible, you seamless stainless steel. So, itong mga stainless steel, ito yung mga popular kasi na milk pails kasi, kasi uh, they are easier to clean, they are easier to sanitize compared dun sa mga plastic. So, most, uh, yung recommended is you use stainless steel. Now, yung stainless steel na gagamitin mo na pail, na timba, dapat um, sanitize, dapat malinis, dapat walang debris, walang dirt. Kasi doon pupunta, doon mai-store yung, doon malalaglag yung mga milk. Yun yung parang nagka-catch doon sa mga milk na lumalabas doon sa teeth nung um, animal, nung dairy animal. So, kailangan talagang sanitize. Then, second, wash the animals thoroughly, especially the teeth, other, and hindquarters. Prepare the other by washing thoroughly with cloth rang. Run out of 5% chlorine solution. Then, do not use sponge in washing others. Then, washing the others also aids in stimulating letdown. So, yun. Kung malinis yung mga pail na gagamitin mo, yung mga equipment, dapat malinis rin yung animal. Especially, dapat malinis yung mga teats niya. So, yung teats, I'm sure alam nyo naman kung sa asa, asa niya, nandito yung other, dapat malinis, and then yung hindquarter. Lalong lalo na dito sa inner part ng hindquarter. So, dapat malinis mga yan para walang dirt, walang mga um, pieces of manure, walang mga bacteria na pwedeng pumasok at, or pwedeng mag-contaminate doon sa milk. So, it is recommended that you wash yung other niya with a 5% chlorine solution para talagang masanitize ng maigi. Then, it is also recommended that do not use sponge in washing other as eh, this can be uh, a source of discomfort dun sa animal kasi medyo rough. And then, uh, yung ano rin ng washing the other is that it stimulate milk like let down. So, parang mas easier na or yun, mas easier na, na yung milking process kasi na-stimulate na yung cow to um, na-stimulate na yung cow to, uh, for the milk let down. So, yun. And then, number three, after thoroughly washing the animal and equipment, the milker should wash his hands with soap and water. So, the hands should be dried. The milker himself must be free from any communicable diseases or open cuts in the hands. So, yun. Kung malinis yung equipments, malinis yung animal, then, syempre, malinis rin dapat yung um, person na hahawak or uh, yung person na uh, mag-undergo or yung, yung gagawa ng milking. So, dapat malinis yung kamay niya. So, para uh, walang dirt, walang mga mga bakterya na pwedeng pumasok dun sa teat or pwedeng uh, makontaminate yung milk. So, you, you need to wash your hands with soap and water and uh, make sure na wala kang communicable diseases or mga sugat dun sa hands mo. Then, number four, you need to dry the other with clean cloth. So, while wiping, rub the whole other at the back and front to further stimulate the animal for the milk let down. So, yun. After all of the washing, cleaning, then dapat clean. Dapat dry and clean na yung animal. So, you need to um, dry it with a clean cloth. So, yung clean cloth mo dapat malinis rin. Hindi yung 
wala rin silbi kung yung ginamit mo para madry yung other ng teeth ng dairy animal mo is yung uh, marumi rin na cloth. So, dapat ma-clean rin nyo, gagamitin mo na pang na cloth na pagda-dry ng other. So, while wiping, rub the whole other at the back and front to further stimulate the animal. So, yun. Ganun rin sa pagwawash, it will stimulate yung milk let down na tinatawag. Then, uh, I've talked about this last video lecture. You need to strip the teeth to determine mastitis. So, for the first three or four streams of milk from each teeth, examine in a strip cup for abnormalities in appearance and consistency. So, yung mga flaky or stringy milk and or presence of blood clots may indicate, indicate mastitis. So, any milk showing these signs must not be used for human con consumption. So, milking animals having signs of mastitis should be milk last. So, yun. So, after yung mga cleaning, dapat stripping mo na yung gagawin mo bago ka talaga mag-milk for human, uh, milking, bago talaga yung milking procedure. So, yun yung importa, importance ng stripping. Uh, it can help you determine if the animal, your, your dairy animal is suffering from mastitis. So, um, you strip yung four streams of milk cup. So, bibilangin mo yan. One, isang ganito, then dalawang ganito, tatlo, apat. So, yun. Then, ilalagay mo dito. Dito sa isang um, strip, strip cup na tinatawag. Now, it is important also to wear gloves. Kasi, if, if nag-positive ng mastitis itong dairy animal mo, um, merong chance na mahahawaan yung ibang animal, lalong lalo na if you're not wearing gloves. Baka hinawakan mo yung ibang animal, then yun, mag-spread na yung uh, disease. So, kailangan talaga na you should wear gloves. So, uh, paano ba makikita if the uh, milk is... Uh, if yung uh, dairy animal mo is suffering from mastitis doon sa milk niya. So, kung flaky or stringy. So, yung flaky or stringy, uh, makikita mo doon sa milk na hindi siya talaga pure liquid, hindi liquid. May mga parang nagklaklat na mga milk, parang string na milk or flakes. So, yung mga flakes parang yung... Um, yung mga uh, nasa cereal, yung mga flake cereal na tinatawag. So, parang ganun yung itsura. And then, there is also presence of blood clots. So, this may indicate mastitis. So, pag nakita mo ng may mga ganun, flaky, stringy blood clots doon sa milk, um, it is not fit for human consumption na. So, yun. So, when everything is set, start milking. So, yung milking should be through at a span of 5 to 7 minutes only. So, dapat fast and efficient ka dun sa pag uh, milk mo. Hindi yung mabagal kasi uh, uh, hindi na to parang efficient way. Kasi yung uh, waste, uh, um, meron ng time na, na we waste and then at the same time, baka maging uncomfortable pa yung animal. So, kailangan 5 to 7 minutes only. So, the procedure is as follows. So, first, you need to grasp the teeth, then close the thumb and first finger around the teeth to prevent milk from going back to the other. So, yan, ganyan. So, yung, ah, yung milk nandito. Then, mag-let down, pupunta dito. So, dito mo siya parang mag-a-apply ng pressure para... Um, Para lumabas yung milk. So, yung gagawin mo, uh, ganito, ipalibot mo yung thumb and first finger mo dito sa base ng teeth para ma-prevent yung milk from going back into the other. So, yan. And then, number two, close the second finger. Yan, close the second finger. Apply steady pressure. So, apply steady pressure. Uh, parang i-prinepress uh, mo. Yung teeth, then do not jerk the teeth down. Pero, pero wag mo munang i, uh, parang i-pull pababa yung teeth. Then, a slight upward push of the teeth is advisable. So, yun. Um, 
slight upward uh, push daw yung kailangan mo. Then, close the little finger and squeeze with the entire hand until the milk uh, comes out. So, yan. After that, i-close mo lahat na hanggang sa little finger and then squeeze mo. Apply pressure into the teeth. With the, uh, with the slight upward motion. Then, release the pressure on the teeth and open your fingers so that the teeth can refill again. So, yun. After that, after may lumabas na, may sufficient amount na nalumabas, then you need to release the pressure again uh, on the teeth uh, para yung mga other, na nan, uh, yung milk na nandun sa other, pupunta ulit dun sa teeth. So, yun. And then, para makapag-refill again, and then repeat the process with the other hand on the other teeth and continue milking alternately until very little milks, milk comes out. So, magkikita dun sa mga expert talagang dalawa. Dalawa yung kamay na ginagamit. So, alternate yun. Yung left hand at saka right hand niya, uh, umahawag dun sa dalawang teeth. Then, alternate yung pagmimilk sa kanila. So, yun. So, when all the milk has been apparently produced uh, by straightforward milking, slide the fingers up, uh, up back of the, to the other, then with a gentle kneading motion, uh, to, downwards, work in the fingers from the top of the other to the top of the teeth. So, 5 seconds of, knee, of this kneading may bring out whatever little milk can be milked out by the normal straightforward milking. So, after nakita mo na na you have sufficient amount na milk na na, na produce na, na nakuha, and then nakita mo na medyo uh, wala nang nilalabas na milk. So, yung gagawin mo, parang yung na, nagmamasa ng flour or sa, yung sa tinapay. So, inid mo, you apply pressure doon sa base ng, doon sa other sa top ng other, pababa into the top of the teeth, teeth dun sa tip ng teeth. Pa, ginagawa ito, eh, ininid mo for 5 seconds para uh, kung ano man yung na, na, natira ng milk dun sa other, bababa iyon dun sa teeth at saka makukuha mo. So, yun. So, yan. So, close the little finger and squeeze the teeth with the whole hand and then release the teeth so that it will be refilled with milk. So, yun, i-release mo ulit. So, dapat hindi hindi yung constant uh, pressure. Hindi dapat na ini-squeeze mo all, the whole time. Kasi wala yan, wala talagang lalabas after the few streams of milk. Kasi nga, blinablock mo yung teeth. Walang lalabas do na milk. Na ay walang pupunta na milk doon sa teeth. Kung ganun yung ginagawa mo. So, you need to release the teeth. Every now and then. Then, fill the teeth again to see if all the milk has come out. So, yun. Uh, ma Maanon mo naman, madidistinguish mo naman kung may laman ba na milk yung teeth or wala. Then, again, grasp the teeth with your thumb and the first finger and then repeat the process. Then, run your fingers down the tip of the teeth. So, yan. From the other, run your fingers down to the tip of the teeth to force some milk still in it to come out. So, yun. Yun yung hand milking na tinatawag. So, for the other milking method, which is on the machine milking, so, the use of machine. So, when using yung itong machine, um, kabaliktaran naman ito ng hand milking. So, it is used on dairy farms. Uh, na maraming heads, maraming dairy animals. So, mga nasa mga 1,000, 2,000, mga ganon. Or even, nasa mga hundred, hundreds na mga heads. Then, kailangan talaga ng milking machine kasi hindi na, kail, uh, hindi na ito, va, hindi na viable yung hand milking kasi uh, marami na yung imimilk mo na dairy animal. So, baka abutin ka ng isang araw, lalong-lalo na if uh, Two or three person lang yung nagmamanage doon sa farm. So, kailangan talaga ng machine. So, the milking machine sucks the milk by constant vacuum and convey it to a suitable container or pipeline. So, yun. Parang ganito. Meron niyang parang suck. Suction cup dito. Then, sinasuck niya yung milk. 
papunta dito sa mga tubes na to into a container. So, ito yung mga pipelines na tinatawag and then into a container. So, it also squeezes the milk periodically to maintain normal blood circulation. So, yun yung ginagawa nitong machine. So, may iba't ibang ano yan, may mga iba't ibang itsura ng milking machine but uh, in principle, they are all the same. They are using itong mga tubes na to, itong vacuum, yung suction cup para masak yung milk na pupunta dito sa container. So, yun. So, the machine milking procedure is as follows. So, first, the follow the preparatory procedure recommended in hand milking. So, ito yung mga uh, clean your equipments. So, dapat clean itong mga machine. So, kung hindi ito clean, hindi ito sanitize, then maaari na maging sanhi pa ng contami contamination, maging sanhi pa ng infection doon sa dairy animal. So, and then you need also to clean the other the teats. So, yun, just follow the preparatory procedures recommended in hand milking. And then, attachment na. I-attach mo yung machine doon sa teats ng animal. So, attach the teat cups. Ito, teat cups yung tawag. So, attach the teat cups one minute after starting preparation. Then, attach the machine properly. Hold the milk low in the hands nearest the cow's head. Then, push up to the push up the shot of valve with one finger and attach the teeth cup to the farthest teeth with the other hand. Then, do not forget to maintain the S-bend. Ito. S-bend in the milk tube so that no air is sucked into the vacuum system. So, yan. Kailangan talaga nakabend itong mga to. Mga tubes na to. Para walang uh, air na pupunta dun sa vacuum. So, yan. Then, if the cow has a very large udder or a sagging udder, hold the teat cups gathered in one hand so that the dirt is not sucked up from the floor. So, kung uh, medyo sagging na yung ano, yung uh, nandito na sa part na to, maaari kasi na may masasak na um, mga dirt, mga soil yung, um, yung itong machine. So, yung best na dapat mong gawin is you uh, alalayan mo yung teat cups. Uh, wag mong hayaan na it get close to the ground para wala siyang masak na dirt. So, if the cow has only three teats, take the excess teat cup, turn it around once and insert it between the pulsation and milk tubes dito sa part na to. I-insert mo yung extra teat cups. So, I-twist mo para walang suction na maganap. And then, uh, i-insert mo between the pulsation and the milk tubes. So, so that it remains in a cut-off position para um, walang parang vacuum na magaganap doon, walang sucking na magaganap doon. With bucket milking place, the bucket just behind the cow's foreleg. So, yan. Nandyan dapat itong bucket just behind the cow's foreleg so that the tubes are properly stretched out. Then, um, the third na is yung milking. Um, we have here yung oxytocin which uh, stimulate yung milk letdown and it can lose its effect after 4 to 7 minutes. And most cows can be made to give milk within 5 minutes. So, don't allow the teat cups to stay on after the milk flow has ceased as the other is then subjected to unnecessary strain. So, overmilking increases the risk of other injuries and infection. So, yun. Um, yung oxytocin kasi, uh, it will lose daw yung effect for to 7 minutes. So, um, yung average, uh, 5 minutes na namimilk yung cow. After that, you need to remove yung mga uh, equipments. Itong, you need to remove, remove yung uh, machine. Uh, doon sa teeth ng animal uh, para kasi pag hindi mo ito ni-remove then nag-stop na na nag-pro-produce ng milk yung animal um, it, uh, it can be a source of discomfort or unnecessary strain so maaari na um, maging sanhi pa ng pain uh, sa other ng animal 
Kasi nga sinasak ng machine yung teeth niya e eh, wala namang lumalabas na. So, unnecessary strain yung magaganap. This can uh, cause discomfort to the animal. So, kailangan talagang tanggalin after 5 minutes, 5 uh, to 7 minutes, pwede, or as early as 4 minutes. Basta nakita mo na wala nang nilalabas na milk yung dairy animal. Yung pag over milk increases the risk of other injuries and infection. So, yun. Dapat talaga mabilisan lang. And then, um, after your milking, uh, you need to check up on the, ano, ulit, the animal and the equipment. So, check carefully if the milk flow diminishes and the teeth cups have crawled up against the base of the teeth. To be sure that no milk has been pinched off because the teeth cups have, be, have crept up, press down the cluster for a few seconds just before taking it off. So, ang sinasabi lang dito is make sure na yung mga teeth cups na nandito um, properly secured sila na um, talagang um, pininch nila or na secure nila ng maayos yung teeth. So yun. And then after that, um, remove it carefully. Then for the removal, when the flow of milk has ceased, push down the shut off bulb with the finger letting air in between the teeth and the teeth cup liner. So, the milking unit will come off uh, more. Yung sinasabi lang dito, uh, it depend. Uh, turn off yung milking machine and then remove itong mga milking uh, cups. Itong cups na nandito sa teeth. And then, you need to sanitize the teeth by sealing the teeth canals with iodine-based sanitizer. So, yun yung last na gagawin. Sanitize yung teeth. Pwede ganun yung gawin mo. So, ito yung parang procedure. Uh, summary nun. So, attachment of milking units. Lalagay mo yung mga cups. Then, you need to check if they are properly secured. Then, after milking, remove it properly. And then, uh, you sanitize it. Post-milking teeth sanitizing. Yan. So, yun yung gagawin. So, Uh, for the advantage and disadvantage, the mas, uh, wala masyadong labor cost kasi nga uh, uh, machine yung ginagawa mo or yung um, gumagawa ng milking procedure. And then one other thing is that it is efficient lalong lalo na if you have a large farm. Mas efficient siya sa um, pagmi-milk. Mas marami siyang nami-milk uh, na mga animals, mga dairy animals, and then at the same time, consistent lang. Since this is, these are machine, they are not subjected to changes. So, kung properly uh, well man maintained naman yung machine, then consistent talaga yung pressure, consistent yung milking process. So, yun, yung disadvantage ng milking uh, method with the use of machine is that added cost. So, yun yung primarily advantage ng isang uh, Um, machine. So, added cost talaga, bibili ka pa nitong machine na to. And then, yung gastos mo rin to properly maintain it, yung pag-aayos, yung maintenance nitong machine. So, yun. Added cost talaga yung isang disadvantage niya. So, with that, that ends my video presentation on the part 2 of the milking management where where I've talked about the milking method, the two milking method, the hand milking and the machine milking. So with that, um, I will talk about more on the milking management, a part 3 on milking management on a on the next video lecture. And with that, uh, that ends my video lecture for this uh, for today. So thank you for uh, listening.